This is Tank's Vlog, October 30th, 2018. We are wrapping up the day in sports. We're brought to you by Allow Me To Be Frank, the weekly podcast you can hear on SoundCloud and iTunes. Click on the links on my website, Sports Encyclopedia, to find out, or just go to uh, SoundCloud and iTunes and look up Allow Me To Be Frank. You know, some people call... The night before Halloween. Devil's Night! Uh, well, it was Devil's Night tonight. Monday Night Football was... The Buffalo Bills biannual trip to hell. You know, Buffalo Bills actually gave forth a great effort tonight. But it was all in pure futility. They had no shot with Derek Anderson in there. Maybe if Josh Allen plays, they might. Had a chance. They held the Patriots to four field goals. Tom Brady was not uh, getting it done in the red zone for the first three quarters. And the game was there for the taking for Buffalo. But they just can't do it. Derek Anderson is t- has never been good. He's always been bad. Back when he was back with the Browns. You know, if you have something in your team that's a former Brown... Chances are he is going to S U C K suck suck suck. I mean, oof, you got it. What what what? what, what but uh, but he's better than Nathan Peterman, so you got to say that. I tell you, that Kaepernick, he's gonna win this lawsuit because he's just gonna sell Buffalo Bills. That's going to be his evidence. Oh, jeez, Buffalo. Poor Buffalo. You know, this team, used to, the last 20 years haven't been kind to the Buffalo Bills. Haven't been kind to the Buffalo period. I mean, Buffalo Sabres have been garbage for most of that period as well. But they played gamely, and in the fourth quarter, Patriots got that touchdown. And then Devin McCourty... Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to go. And then to make matters worse, Anderson gets hurt. So you know what that means? Nathan Peterman, Nathan Peterman, back in action. Pick six. Of course, Derek Anderson threw a pick six today. Pick six is in the Buffalo Bills. Do, 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 the pigs. Used to be that the New Jersey Lottery before, still actually still called the pick six, but the New Jersey Lottery main game, the state lottery, was always the pick six. And they always used to, whenever they had the numbers, they always played do, 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 do. The Buffalo Bills are turning it over like they did last week. The D back is running it back. It's six points. Buffalo is done. They're not gonna win this game. They don't have a quarterback. Maybe Jim Kelly could come back. They might have a chance. Oh, Cleveland. Cleveland, 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 Cleveland. A day after Tyrone Lou was say we said goodbye to you. The Cleveland Browns cleaned house. Dude, dude, dude. I mean yeah. everyone saw this coming. All you had to do was watch hard knocks. Todd Haley going into that situation was like taking gasoline. And saying, oh, let's use a dumpster fire. Let's see if he can put it out with gasoline. 
I mean, the, the Browns have some talent. But they can't win. And then after yesterday's game, Hugh Jackson, well, I didn't know I could use four. I didn't notice the four. I didn't notice the timeouts. And it's hot. Haley, Haley is saying, I can't work with him. Hugh Jackson said, I can't work with him. They're trying to get him both tried to fire. Do you know what? The Browns said, goodbye to both of you. And now it's Greg Williams going, <laughs> so Greg Williams is the interim coach in Cleveland. And of course, the rest of the season for Cleveland Browns will be brought to you by Bounty. Oh, Cleveland. You never failed at this point in making yourself the laughing stock of the NFL. NHL, only a pair of games on Monday night. It was the Flames over the shorthanded Maple Leafs, as Austin Matthews will be out at least four weeks. Very bad news for Toronto. And we had the Vancouver Canucks beating up on the Minnesota Wild as Elias Pag Peterson continues his awesome start. The rookie has seven goals in his first seven games. Had a pair tonight in leading the win for Vancouver. Moving on to the NBA. Klay Thompson had a huge night for Golden State, 52 points, uh, was red hot from behind a three-point line, as the Warriors beat the Bulls 149-124. Locally, it was the Nets and Knicks beating for the second time in the first eight, no, first seven games. NBA, what are you doing? Nobody's into the NBA yet. The World Series just ended. And you, the Knicks and Nets have already played two or four meetings this year in the regular season. Save these games. Save these games for the dead of winter when people actually want to watch basketball. Uh, very dumb. I, I don't understand why the Knicks and Nets had to play twice. And, of course, the first time was won by Brooklyn. This time, the Knicks ending their five-game losing streak, winning at Madison Square Garden, 115-96. I mean, Knicks and Nets are both garbage. The only, there's, there's no excitement. So they're going to have them play each other all these times. So come February, when they don't play each other anymore, nothing, nothing for these two teams to be excited about. Tim Hardaway Jr. had a big night with 25 points, 5 rebounds, and 8 assists. It was the Trail Blazers beating the Pacers 103-93. 76ers were 113-92 winners over the Hawks. It was Sacramento going into Miami and beating the Golden Girl. I mean, the Miami Heat 123-113. The uh, Kings had 43 points in the third quarter. Might have been an early bedtime for uh, the Heat players. Uh, you know, those those old guys. We have the Bucks 124-109 winners over the Raptors. This was a meeting of unbeaten teams. Both teams came in 6-0. Milwaukee leaves 7-0. 5-0 at home as the Raptors suffered their first loss of this season at 6-1. And, and this was without Giannis Antetokounmpo, who had he was in concussion protocol. Folks, fear the deer. The Bucks are for real. In Minnesota, it was Jimmy Butler laying a Big shot, 32 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, as LeBron James narrowly missed triple-double and got another loss. It was the Timberwolves, 124, 
go Los Angeles Lakers. 120. You can't say late you can't say Los Angeles without saying loss, right, Dodger fans? We got the Spurs. Big night for DeMar DeRozan, 34 points, six rebounds, nine assists, as they beat the Mavericks in overtime, 113 to 108. And it was the Denver Nuggets beating the Pelicans 116 to 111. Tonight's three stars are Clay Thompson of the Warriors, who came out to play with 52 points and five rebounds. Kyle Van Noy had eight tackles, including two sacks in the Patriots' beatdown of Buffalo. And DeMar DeRozan was the marvelous for the Spurs. 34 points, six rebounds, nine assists. Today's birthday shout-out goes to Devils captain Andy Green, who turns 36 on Devils Night. And we take a look back to 1983 when it was Sutter, Sutter, everywhere to Sutter's. As Dwayne and Brent with the Islanders took on twin brothers Ron and Rich Sutter. It was all, there were four Sutter brothers on the ice. Of course, you know, there were six Sutter brothers that were playing in the NHL at the same time for nearly a decade. So check out the Sutter brothers story on Barstool Sports and at Sports Encyclopedia, where Sports History Lives. Don't forget, listen to Allow Me to Be Frank on SoundCloud and iTunes. Good day.